Today's review, we're going to be looking at DC Collectibles Arkham Asylum Batman vs. Bane 2-Pack. If you're a fan of the Batman video games such as Arkham Asylum, uh, which is one of the first Batman video games uh, from a while ago, um, this 2-Pack which contains Bane and Batman is uh, definitely a must-have if you're into collectibles and into the Batman video game. Uh, we're gonna take a look at these two figures today. We're gonna open them up, um, and I do know that uh, there was an original single pack for the Bane figure, uh, slightly different paint sculpt, uh, not sculpt, but different paint app, and. Um, the fact that they can re-release this as a two-pack with Batman is uh, definitely a must-have if you didn't if you missed the first um, release. So we're gonna take a look at this today, and uh, just to look at the packaging, uh, this is the back, and you, there's also two packs for uh, Harley Quinn and Mr. Hammer, and there's also another separate two-pack for the penguin and sickle um, so we're gonna open this bad boy up and I'll be right back so here are the two figures out of the package um, Bane looks amazing he I would say he stays true to the video game design and first thing I noticed right out of the package is that he is heavy he's kind of reminds me of the Marvel Select Juggernaut figure and this is nothing short of that um, and it definitely represents Bane as a um, huge enemy in the game so let me zoom in a little bit to show you the details on this if you can see that look at the veins on his body it's pumping out looks like he's ready to level someone um, the backpack is feeding the liquid venom into his into his body um, giving him the physical ability that he has in the game um, yeah, I can't make him stand over here because he's just gonna topple over uh, but see what other details we can see so you, the face sculpt is very it's very well detailed you can see the the dirt on his face, the the mean mugging look, and let's see. You can see. Look at his arms. We're gonna go over the articulation as well. Uh, so on his belt, you can see there's a little um, looks like a light and a chain connected to his waist, and also around his feet are also metal chains he's barefooted uh, so above his head or actually I should say there's two tubes connected to this head from the from the backpack and then there if you can see from the from his neck there's also another set of two tubes and from each side of the arm or sh from his shoulders a tube from each shoulder. Um, looking at his wrist and arm, on his left arm you can see also two separate tubes connected to his hand and on the other side there are no tubes but just looking at the detailing on the waist I'm sorry the uh, the wrist strap detail is very very well done in terms of paint application I would say this definitely stays true to the video game and I don't see how this, this could be done any better in terms of articulation so let's look at his head first it look, appears to be on a ball joint you can move left right up and down uh, there isn't much doesn't seem like it will move very far and you don't want to disconnect those tubes 
don't want to break it either they seem very fragile very rubber like um, that's his head so on his arms it's on a swivel basically on a peg that can move up and down and move out you can also twist his arm bend at his there's a bend at his elbow and also his hand does have some articulation his waist I can't get it to twist and I'm afraid to try too hard so I'm gonna leave it at that I mean you wouldn't want to pose him in any other direction but it does look like it can twist around uh, his legs you can move in and out left and right there's also a twist at the thigh and bend at the knee and at his feet level you can move a little bit if I can get to it you can move a little bit left and right up and down very very excellent figure so let's take a look at Batman and I must say when I, I had more trouble getting him out of the package than I did with Bane and there's two problems two problems that I noticed one is the cape and being that as a rubber cape it was basically fit into the packaging and it was it's molded around the plastic uh, wrapping so I don't I guess you can put some heat source apply some heat source around it and it'll reform itself and the second problem I so as you can see at his fingertips, two of his fingers are bent. And I think what I'll need to do also is put some heat source, uh, get his fingers straight again. Looks really weird. How's he gonna fight crime like that? Uh, so Batman, a uh, pretty basic Batman figure. Uh, does stay true to the video game Batman um, just by looking at the paint application it's I mean there's I don't think there's much uh, anything special about this um, it's not battle damage or anything it's just a uh, crime fighting Batman and Yes, yeah, a little bit of mist paint apple there. Actually, I could rub it off. Uh, but yeah, it's a basic figure. Let's take a look at the face up close. Definitely looks like the Batman from the game. And take a close look at his tool belt. I mean, there's no extra accessories with this figure, which is a little bit disappointing. Let's take a look at the articulation. So on his head, that's a ball joint. You can move left, right, up, down. His cape, like I mentioned before, it is rubberized. So um, what I'm going to try to do is put some heat source and see if I can flatten this. Uh, his shoulder can, looks like it can move outwards and in uh, but because the rubber cape is sort of covering that area you can't there isn't much you can uh, move with could move it out like this if you had a weapon uh, his elbow is a bend and also his wrist armor is a twist and his hand All right, so his hand doesn't look like it's doesn't seem like it's a separate piece, so it moves with the the wrist armor. Let me go check. Yeah, so even on the other side, same thing. Um, there's no waist articulation. Um, there's a bend on his knee, and there's a twist at the boot.
so overall it's I mean it's a basic Batman figure I'm not too crazy about the Batman figure but I do love Bane uh, that's the primary piece of this two pack um, you can still find this piece online on Amazon uh, it's very affordable com as opposed to the original single pack Bane and I mean it's sli slightly different paint app but definitely a value so that concludes my video review of the Batman 2 pack with Bane and if you have any comments or questions please leave uh, right below and subscribe and I will have more videos in the future have a good day.